everybody. I hope everybody's having a uh, a good start to the week. Uh, we're halfway there now, which is always good. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh, when you could get through Wednesday, you feel like you're on the the downward journey towards the weekend. So I wanted to come on here today, guys, and share some exciting news with you. So yesterday I was doing a bit of editing, and I had a knock on the door. So I got up, and went over, and the postman was there with a the big old package. And I said, well, what's this? Because Paul, he's been into winemaking, so I just assumed it must have been something else he's purchased for his winemaking that doesn't seem to be working, but anyways. Um, but no, it was a package addressed to me. So I thought, well, what is this? And I looked at the return sender, and it was from my friend in Australia, Andrea. You, oh, I couldn't believe it. So I did open the bag, and uh, but I haven't been through everything. And I thought, oh, I must stop and let me just let me just hold off here. So I have had a little bit of a look, but let me show you what I opened up. Isn't that beautiful? I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to redo my whole craft room now and figure out a way I can frame this. <laughs> Isn't that the most gorgeous koala bear? So I'm going to have to come up um, with a really sweet name for this because I like to name all my little, my little things. But I love that beautiful bag. And let me show you the inside of it. Um, so that was, you know, how she had it packaged. And let me pull the items out. And then I want to show you the inside of this bag is just gorgeous. Look at that. So, Andrea, this is going to be my new little carry-all with, my, um, with my, my tote, you know, to carry all my little crafting supplies when I go, you know, here and there. So thank you. Oh, I just can't get over how cute that is. So inside, she had all of this wrapped up, and she had this beautiful envelope. Look at that. So I'm assuming that she has printed this and made the envelope, but Andrea, I'd love to know, because that is stunning. <laughs> and inside is a, the most beautiful letter to me, and it did bring tears to my eyes, Andrea. I won't read it to you guys, because it's personal to me, but let me just tell you, she has stunning handwriting. Um, and it's funny, um, you guys don't know this, but Nancy, who sent me some happy mail, her hand, well, I think I showed you some of hers. Um, her handwriting inspired me to purchase the, um, uh, spin, is it Spencerian? Penmanship course. So, Andrea didn't know this, but I'm planning to go away at uh, the end of this month and I'm taking that course with me to start working on my handwriting and when I read this letter I, I just had to show it to Paul I said look at that handwriting and he was just amazed um, he hadn't seen handwriting so beautiful so um, that's for me and it just <clears throat> like I said I, I just cannot believe Andrea what you've done it just is amazing so you go inside, and let me pull all of this out, and then we'll start going through it. It's just, I don't know, it just made me really emotional because um, the effort that she's gone through, and let me save this for last because this, this is super special. Um, so in here, she's included. Oh, look at those. I've never seen. Oh, wow. 
I don't have any of that size, Andrea. Thank you so much. Love that. I'm going to have to be on the lookout for those now. Those are beautiful. Beautiful bags. I will definitely use those. And look at this paper. This is beautiful paper. I don't have any in this color. And this is a really nice, heavy, heavy weight. So I will definitely make use of that. Especially with some autumn journals that I've got planned coming up. So that is going to be so handy. And then in here... Look at, she's just, everything's just so beautifully wrapped. Look at these bits of uh, different textures of laces. I just love it because um, you don't, you know, I work with small pieces and it's so nice to have such a variety. So these, oh, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous color. Love that. It's not often I get uh, colored laces. I think you can tell. I tend to only come across the white and the ivory, but this is really nice to have. Thank you so much, Andrea. That's beautiful. Gosh. I'm going to be, my head's going to be spinning now on what do I, what to do with that? How can I use that? Oh, this one's beautiful. That's beautiful purple. I love shades of purple. Yeah, and I've got some Prima paper left. Um, I've got about a pad and maybe a quarter of another pad. Um, so this is going to be used with those papers, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Oh, wow, Andrea. You've got my brain spinning now. And this is some handmade paper. Oh my gosh, I love this. Now, that's beautiful. And that's a nice weight. The stuff I've got is, is really heavy. But I almost think I prefer this. So I'm curious um, if you made this. Because Andrea is very talented. I've seen some of her projects on Instagram and uh, she it would not surprise me to find out she's made this paper beautiful that's something I've not gotten around to um, but I would like to dabble in it oh that's beautiful beautiful papers the texture on handmade paper just cannot be beat okay let me sit those to the side and then we'll start I just uh, that letter Andre, that letter is going to go in with with everybody else that I've gotten happy mail. I'm keeping all of those, and those will go into my journal because I am such a sentimental person. I don't get rid of anything. So look at this. Isn't that beautiful with the little sheep and the trees and the llama? So I'm going to definitely find a use for that as well. Everything just beautifully wrapped. Look at this. You have so spoiled me. Gosh, that's beautiful lace. Oh, I love that. That is really, really pretty. Okay. I might have to just keep that one for myself. Because that is absolutely gorgeous. I think I might put that on my nightstand. Because I'm in the progress of, of redoing our bedroom. And <laughs> my house is such a mix match. Um, I, it is along the um, French cottage theme is what I'm going for. And I think I've got to keep this for my nightstand. Beautiful. Andrea, thank you. That is just gorgeous. And look at these. Now that is a beautiful color. I don't have anything like this. So this is so nice to receive because I don't have, you know, much color within mine. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful design there. Love that. Yes, I'm always curious. Um, 
Now she's in Australia, so no, that's beautiful, so dainty and thin. She's in Australia, so no doubt she probably has her own suppliers local down there, because I imagine she suffers the same as us with these duties coming in too. Look at that tag, that's beautiful, the paper on that's gorgeous. Beautiful, oh, look at that. I love this. Absolutely love that. So I'm, I need, see I've got some that are smaller, but I love these nice big wide ones. And that lace is gorgeous. So many things I can do with this. Oh, I cannot wait to get started. Now I want to set the journals I'm working on to the side so I can go back to shabby chic. <laughs> this is what happens every time I, I, I get something you know, new when I pick up at a car boot or something, I'd lose focus on what I'm presently doing and I just want to start on something completely different. I think, I don't think I'm in, unusual in that because I've heard so many people commenting, oh, this is beautiful. This one is stunning. Look at that. It's a very, I don't know if it's coming across my lights, but this is like a super um, pale blush pink. And it is so soft and feminine. I love it. Absolutely love that. Wow. But yes, I'm sure she's got her own, you know, suppliers down there. But I'm always, you know, curious where people are buying the, um, like, you know, things like this. Because I don't find this kind of thing when I'm out and about at, at the flea markets or car boots. And that is just, what a difference that would make into a little snippet. You know, just a small section of that. It's just gorgeous. It must just take ages to gather up so many different, look at that, that's beautiful. I love these really thin, um, delicate laces. So pretty. That's beautiful, because that's got almost like <clears throat> an ivory with the soft blush pink mixed. Now I'm curious if she's dyed that. Maybe she did some eco-dyeing on that. She'll have to share her secrets with us, I think. That's beautiful. And look at the washi tape even. Look at that. Little butterflies. That's beautiful. Or is that cardstock? Oh, I think it's cardstock. That's really pretty. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, Andre, you've spoiled me. Uh, I just cannot believe. I just can't believe it. I have just got the most generous and kind subscribers and I do mean that um, you guys have just been amazing I just cannot believe all oh, this is gorgeous now she surely dyed that one because look at the the depth of that color that is beautiful oh I'm gonna have to get back into trying to dye a bit more love it speaking of which I just found a lady over in um, Wales, of course. Um, and I can't remember how it came to me. Um, but she's offering a textile dyeing course. And I thought, oh gosh, I so wish I could go to it. It's, it's too much money. But that's just made me think of it. Because I thought, oh, I must start doing, experimenting with dyeing again. This is beautiful. I just, honestly, if it wasn't, for Paul, my house would probably be just full of this kind of thing because I do love it. I, I, I don't know if it's because when I was growing up, sorry, I'm off on a story. I've told you about my neighbor. Her name was Mrs. Gladhill. This was in Michigan. Um, and I've got very fond, vivid memories of her. Um, she lived next door, 
and she had peonies planted all along the drive because there was a fence between her yard and ours and there was a chain link fence and on her side she had these beautiful peonies all along the driveway and Mrs. Gladhill would have me come over on a Saturday because um, she her husband had passed and, and I she, I'm thinking I was about five and she at that time, I can only imagine, she's in her late 60s, maybe even 70s. She was old. But then again, when you're a kid, she could have been 40. <laughs> you know, when you're a child, anybody over 40 looks so old. Um, but I do reckon she was in her late 60s or 70s. She'd have me come over, and we would bake cookies. And oh my gosh, it was always oatmeal, raisin, um, I mean, we did different cookies, but the oatmeal raisin I loved because of the way they made her house smell. She had the most charming house. And outside of the kitchen, and I've often thought, oh, I wish I could go back and buy her house. It was so pretty. Off of the kitchen, she had her formal dining room with her hutch, the silver, everything was polished. You know, it was just no tarnished silver in her house. And she'd set out the doily with the teapot and I guess that, you know, now looking back, that had to have had an influence on my taste because obviously growing up with my dad and two brothers, we didn't have any feminine touches at all. So I went completely, you know, the other end of the spectrum because I love this kind of thing. And I would, I would just, you know, given my choice and if, Money wasn't an issue. My whole house would just be doilies and china and beautiful things to just, you know, look at and touch and, and look at these, not these. I don't have enough of these either, Andrea. She must know. She must know what my need here is. <laughs> and that is gorgeous. Look at that. The little bit of gold sparkle in there. How pretty is that? And I see another doily. <laughs> I love these. <clears throat> I've already been making my little list of things I want to bring back when I come. And I don't know if, look at that, that's gorgeous. Really love that. Beautiful. Um, I don't think I'll have room, but I thought, oh, I'd really like to get all my linens back. Because I just like having my stuff around it's, I know that's probably a strange thing, but I, I feel like I need my things. I need my little, you know, things in within my um, space. It, it's, I, it just comforts me. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I love this little tea towel. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so... On, and then she had that wrapped with this beautiful ribbon, so I can use that as well. Everything's going to be used, don't you know? <laughs> Look at that. That's gorgeous ribbon. I'll put that in with that bundle, and I'll start organizing. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Andrea, this is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful fabric. Interesting. Now this is totally different to anything I've got and I am excited about that because I am I can already visualize a, a journal cover with this and look at that. Gosh, she's generous. She's given me a big portion. Thank you, Andre. Beautiful. Look at that with the poppies in the background. Oh, I love fabric. <laughs> I just love it. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This, oh, I love that. And that's kind of a, hmm, kind of a, like a tweed, um, bur, like a light, light burlap tweed type, I guess. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's going to make some amazing covers there. Look at that. Oh, it's got the birds. Oh my goodness, look at this now. That is a butterfly, and then this one is all the birds. 
and a bee. Oh my gosh, Andrea, this is so, and the, look at the little ladybug. Look at that. That is, that, I love, love, love this. Those are all going to be absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I got, I need more hours in the day because I can see many journals coming with these. Beautiful. Thank you so, so much. And last, I wanted to share this because I did have a peek, but I hadn't looked at it too much. But this absolutely touched me. Um, because look at this. These are handmade charms that she has created. And, um, <laughs> I mean, this is when I, I just thought, okay, I've got to... I've got to set this to the side and go with it with you guys. I'm, look at these. Um, because <clears throat> I think Andrea knows I'm charm challenged. And when I saw this, I mean, she is. Look at, the, look at these. Isn't that fabulous? I mean, <clears throat> I just cannot get over it. And look at that beautiful. Let me just take this off so you guys can see. Let's just get it off and play with this. How amazing. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, the mind is going. And this is, this is, I'm going to have to create a journal for myself. And this can be on the, um, the spine. So I'm going to give some thought to that. Because I'm thinking this is going to be on a tome. And then that, won't that just be stunning on the spine of that? Oh, Andrea, you are talented. That is beautiful. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Um, I've always found uh, the charms uh, so tricky for me because, um, you know, I've just been dabbling here and there, but I think it, again, must be a thing you've got to have a bit of a knack for, and I don't think it, it's just not really something I've picked up. I haven't spent a lot of time doing it, and that's probably the biggest problem. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, I'm curious. That looks like a paper clip that she's created. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, Andre, you've just inspired me so much with these. And each of these will go into my journal. Because <laughs> I am I am fussy that way. I somebody does something for me. Oh, I just I hang on to it. My kids will probably have to bury it all with me when I pass on because I just love handmade things from people. It's just there's to know that somebody took the time to sit down and make that. It just nothing. There is nothing that anybody could do that beats handmade. So Andrea, I absolutely love it. And everything you gave me was super special and uh, so generous of you. But these, these take the cake there. Um, I love your work, and I tell you, I'd love to see um, see you selling these, because they are beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. I think these are so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I can so see that on an autumn. Gosh, how am I going to do this? Because now I need about four journals just for me. I've got to find the time to do it. Beautiful. Love those. Oh, Andrea, what a treat. I mean, I just, I, I am speechless, really. I don't know where to begin to tell you how much I appreciate this. I really do. And those, like I said, those will be going on 
my own journal. Thank you so much, guys, uh, for joining me today and uh, letting me share some beautiful Happy Mail with you all. And Andrea, uh, I just can't put into words how much I appreciate what you did. You know, it's just, uh, it's a lot of effort and trouble, you know, to send Happy Mail, and it is so appreciated. Look at that. It's just huge. <laughs> So thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys, I hope I uh, have a great rest of the week, and I will be back here soon. Take care. Bye.